Welcome back guys to a brand new video and today guys we are playing on the newest critical ops update 1.3.0 and this update is insane it is the biggest update we have ever had in critical ops history I love it of course we have this brand new TDM map heat which just looks really nice of course it's based off of plaza then we have this brand new weapon the vector which is the second weapon ever to be added to critical ops after its official release of course we have the um new melee weapon the hatchet which is also really dope there's no skins for it sadly we have a new practice mode i mean this update is just full of tons and tons of co um, content and of course they also redid the ui completely it looks 10 times better we thought that wasn't going to be in this update because i'm like that's just way too much but it actually is in this update there's just so much stuff in this update i can't simply i just simply cannot cover in one video so today guys we're going to be mainly just talking about the um the vector and of course the brand new map heat on this map heat of course it is only a um tdm map which i know you guys are not really happy about but don't worry they are work they did say they're gonna be working on a diffuse map next which could take months but just know they are working on one so definitely be happy for that but yeah, this is only a tdm map but it's still a nice tdm map it plays very very well even though it's the same size as like division and of course bury it feels a lot bigger it's only because there's just tons of places to go there's a lot more lanes it's not a flat map of course there's just tons of places to hop on like for example i can just hop right up here on this truck and go right here so it doesn't feel like what's the word just really like a boring there's just tons of places to go and kind of playing cool where people just want to pick you to be there now i'm not trying to encourage camping but it's just nice when a map has tons of different places to go to it just kind of makes it feel a little bit more dynamic now, i remember in that first gameplay we saw leaked of the um beta gameplay i really thought you can go up here but sadly you cannot go up there it would have been they could have like put a window right there. you could have sniped from right there it would have been a really fun place to snipe at but sadly you can't go there but besides that the map is fun it's optimized, I think. I don't know. I mean, I'm playing on the iPad Pro, which I get like 120 FPS all the time, so I don't know. I keep running out of bullets here. The U the um, not UMP, but the Vector does not have a lot of bullets. Of course, like all the other SMGs. So hopefully we can kill somebody here with our um with our revolver. Can I can I please? Oh, we died from somebody with the AUG. Why are you using the AUG, man? A brain open top. As you can see, the UI looks completely different. And also the main menu also looks just 10 times better. It is gorgeous. The way you select weapons is much better. Sally, there really isn't a direct way to go into party chat, which is a little bit annoying. But besides that, overall, we're good up. Oh my gosh, we're going to get Samus there. But yeah, overall, an amazing update. It really is good. I'm going to put a poll in the top of the description. Do you think this is the best update Critical Ops has ever had? In my opinion, I want to say almost as. Besides maybe the ranked update. That ranked update, even though it was something simple, it was needed in the game. I mean, ranked is like half of the videos on my channel right now in Critical Ops. So I would say ranked is the only update that can be just as good. But this is definitely the biggest update. Definitely the biggest update. Of course, having a new weapon just changes up the gameplay so much. And I'm just glad we have an update that's just not, you know, skins or a new knife. Of course, we have content, you know, like the gun. And of course, oh my gosh, I didn't even need to reload there. But of course, the gun, the practice mode, and everything. Now, I hope they would make the I hope they make the practice mode offline in the future. I know it just takes internet to simply start up the game, but maybe like before you even start it up, if you have no connection, it'll allow you to simply go into offline bot mode. Oh my gosh, we got knifed. But yeah, hopefully they can do that. And definitely stay tuned during this week. I'm gonna be dropping tons of Critical Ops update vi um, videos on, of course, on the new hat and do a hatchet only gameplay. Do of course hide and go seek like I always do with all the maps. And then maybe even do sniping on this map. Of course, you got to do some insane um, vector-like clutches and stuff in the diffuse. So, there's going to be tons of Critical Ops videos towards the end of this week. And, of course, in the next week. And, of course, I have no school next week, which is definitely really nice. Hopefully, they drop that Critical Ops pass soon. Because I want to grind out the pass while I don't have school. But I said the same thing about the last pass. And they gave us two months to do it. And I still didn't finish it. So, but hopefully, we can finish this next one. I'm going to try to be a little bit more dedicated in completing that one. But yeah, this update is insane. I do want to say one more thing. Um, that really nice vector skin we saw is not in the game right now. And also that ink drop, um, what's it called? The ink drop Karamba is not in the game, which makes me think they're probably going to be in the Critical Ops Pass. That's the only reason they're supposed to be in this update, but we don't see them. They're probably in the Critical Ops Pass. And right now, we can't really see the Critical Ops Pass right now. Normally, we can't see that until the update becomes public. Hopefully, we don't die here. Oh, shoot, right as I drop a weapon, he comes. Can I grab, a, grab this one? Oh, no, we're dead. We're so dead. I keep running out of bullets. Like, I want to go UMP. I mean, I keep calling, why do I keep calling it the UMP? I don't know why, but I want to go Victor, Vector only. But I just keep dying constantly. Let's see if we can go around here, get some more. Because I want to at least maybe try to get a 40K. It's going to require us getting, like, 20 kills in this last minute. But if we focus really hard, hopefully we can do it. I might have to pull out the AK once in a while because the biggest issue where I die is me running out of bullets. Normally, but I just died there for no reason. Dang, they have. We have almost had 99 kills. 
little 360 here. Well, one. Yeah, that's that kind of a 360. But you can see, this weapon has a lot of range. It has so much range. I don't want to say it's overpowered. Okay, no, when a new weapon comes out, everybody says it's overpowered. So I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for my judgment on the weapon. But if it's a really good weapon. That's all I can say right now. It's a really good weapon. Definitely way more accurate. And, of course, you can go for headshots really, really easily with this weapon. Like, for example, so compared to, like, the MP5 and the MP7, they barely have any recoil. But they're not accurate at all. It kind of just sprays. And even if you aim directly at their head, you're going to barely get any headshot hit markers. Versus this weapon, which can be almost a laser at times. And you can easily aim for headshots. Now, you might consider that overpowered. I don't know. Again, I'm going to have to hold my judgment. Maybe play a couple of ranked games. Play a lot of ranked games. You can't just play one. So you got to play a lot of ranked games. Really see how the gun plays. To me, the best way to see if a gun is really good is after a month or two. And see if everybody stopped using it. For example... When the HK was buffed, everybody was like, oh my gosh, it's super overpowered. But like a month later, nobody uses the HK again. But anyway, guys, let me know your opinion on the Vector and the new map and this update. But leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you really care, don't forget the like button. Peace, guys.